food on over. Follow me this way. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna put some on here for you. Some over there. Greetings, friends. One of the things that I have learned recently as I began my journey with raising goats here on our homestead is that they really enjoy produce from the garden, especially produce like these cucumbers right here. As you can see, they really enjoy them. And I really enjoy giving it to them and sharing the produce that we produce here with our animals. Not just our goats, but also our chickens, our ducks, and our dogs as well but we also enjoy it as a family. But um, I'm not some animal rights activist that think that our animals here are on the same playing field as us and that they should have equal rights as us. No, I don't believe that. But on the other extreme, I also don't believe in abusing animals. I believe in taking care of them. I believe that I'm a steward here. Uh, they're my coworkers here. <laughs> and we work together in, in working on managing the land and, and things like that. Uh, but overall, I believe that we are over the animals and uh, that we are to take care of them. And uh, there's a lot about that in the Bible, about being a good shepherd. You're not, you're not beating your sheep. You're taking care of your sheep and, and your goats in this case properly. But you're also not lifting them up to worship them either. So I really enjoy, even though we've had our challenges with raising goats, and we've had challenges with our other animals at times, but that's part of the learning process. I'm gonna say I really enjoy them, enjoy being around them, enjoy feeding them things like these cucumbers here, <laughs> as you can see. Rah. There you go. You enjoy eating it, don't you? Yeah. And they are just going to town with these cucumbers. I'm gonna need my basket back, ladies. Go ahead and give me my basket back. Uh, Bucky's over there enjoying his over there by himself. There you go. So one of the things that I'm still trying to figure out and learn about raising groats, I mean goats, is groats, what is a groat? Goats is I need to set up a some type of rotational grazing pattern for them here on the property. In other words, those would be areas that we would move them to systematically, that they would graze that area, then we would move them to another area. So that way it would help manage that area, eat down the greens and things, uh, just the vegetation that overgr is overgrown. And at the same time, it'll also provide them with the feed that they need or vegetation that they enjoy eating as well. So still trying to figure that out. But in the meantime, one of the things that we have learned and has found to work well is this shelter here. Uh, these, these hoops here are concreted into the ground. But th it, this is a shelter here that provides them protection from the rain because goats really don't like to get wet. If you haven't learned that already, they don't like to get wet at all. And it also is an area that we can bring them hay to that they like to eat on from time to time. So make sure that they have what they need. And that's really important in the cold seasons, uh, the winter time when there's not a lot of vegetation, they can just come eat the hay. And it's also has been beneficial for us if there's times that we want to get away from the homestead that we can do so and provide them with the, the hay that they need and they can just eat right there from under the shelter. And right now we just have set up for them just a wheelbarrow, the top without the wheels on a stand. So my plan is to upgrade them to an official hay feeder right here under this shelter area. So that is what I'm going to be working on today is constructing a goat hay feeder. Lawn tractor is a popular tool around here. 
It gets used on all kind of projects and Josiah is using it right now to take care of the chores of feeding the animals. So right now, got my wood here, got to unload from my truck. Uh, but uh, this truck has seen a lot, seen a lot of action. So uh, tailgate doesn't work exactly. So I'm, I think I'm the only one here that can actually open it. You have to actually use a screwdriver and you have to kind of jiggle this on the inside. Any of you guys have a truck like this or something like this at home, let me know. So over here, I have to put in our screwdriver to kind of wiggle. A little mechanism on the inside and then grab right here. Always do it the first time, but. So we do that, and then we do this, and then, bam, I can get my wood out. So as of right now, I don't think I'm gonna have to do a bunch of cuts. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Because I'm going for a fairly simple design. I've been looking at pictures online of different goat feeders that other people have used, as well as glances through the Polyface design book about the feeder that they use for their cows. So just with all that jumbled up together, I'm just gonna try to create something that I feel will work for us. But one of the things that I have learned through my homesteading adventures is oftentimes when you build something the first time it's usually not the, the best model that you go with and you just you just keep making progress as you go so this will be our first goat real goat feeder here it's not a wheelbarrow <laughs> so we are going to uh, do what we can let's get started I must admit building stuff isn't at the top of my list of favorite things to do around the homestead i much rather be working in the garden or moving some chickens around or something. But what I do enjoy about projects like this is it does help me to learn, helps me to be able to express creativity in one way or another. It also gives me an opportunity to be outside in fresh air, which I always enjoy. It also gives me an opportunity to just think and ponder as I'm working. And it also gives me the opportunity to do one of the things that I really, really enjoy, and that is to spend time with my kids. And I think Josiah actually really likes projects like these, so he's one that I really like to have included whenever I do stuff like this. Alrighty, so we have the hardest part done, I think, which is setting up the main base for our goat feeder here. And uh, what, the measurements that I have here are 42 inches wide by 8 feet long. And I brought in two hay bales there to, uh, to be able to kind of test and see how the feel for them were going to be here on this on this feeder here and uh, I'm going to be able to fit in two rows of five each uh, so that's a total of ten total and that gives the goat enough feed for uh, a number of days so uh, I feel I feel confident in that now we just need to tidy things up and uh, need to put some wood right on top of our two by sixes here because the hay is going to sit right on top of there to keep the hay off the ground and for moisture coming on it and then after we construct it we actually got to take this thing all the way over there under their shelter but uh i like the direction we are going and you know what when i was buying wood and, and prices of wood just keep going up and up and up uh, the cost of i prefer to get cedar wood if i can because uh that's the best wood uh for not having to worry about toxins and things like that but the price and availability of those are just not working out right now so i ideally i like to build our chick chaws our chicken tractors with cedar wood but uh, we're not able to do that with this one. And uh, just looking at the price of wood, the pressure treated wood is like 30 to 40% cheaper 
than just buying your normal pine wood. So it's like, this is just crazy. It makes no sense to pressure treat a wood, which takes more energy and more work to, to the pressure treating the wood than just the, the pine. It's, it's kind of ridiculous. So it is what it is. So one of the things I, I do plan to just kind of avoid maybe the goat's heat and toxins is to be able to, is to put some type of, uh, uh, whether it be a plastic or metal bottom on top of the wood just so they're not licking any of the wood there. But uh, let's keep it rocking. I know these are not my dad's favorite things to do, but I like helping him because I get to spend time with him and get stuff done. I also like to work with tools like saws and drills, and today we got to do that. All right, this is the point in the build where I probably need to stop because uh, the weight on here is adding up. And besides, we still need to be able to move it and don't want to put too much weight on it to where we're not going to be able to move it in place under the shelter. So Lacey's away right now running errands. I'm going to have to wait till she comes back and we're going to probably have to put a team effort into moving this thing. And in the meantime, I need to go pick up some feed and we're talking about hay. I might as well pick up some hay while we're at it. Pick it up from a farmer not too far from here where we purchase our chicken and duck feed as well as our hay for our goats. So, gotta go get that. Every week to every other week, I head out to purchase livestock feed for our animals. And thankfully, I'm able to purchase all of our livestock feed locally at Barrier Meals a family farm that has been around in our area for a number of years. And I'm also thankful that they also carry hay. Perfect for our goats. I don't get hay for our goats every week, but this week, since we're loading up the goat feeder, I really went all out and trying to load up the truck with hay. And after loading up the hay, next headed right around the corner to where they have their feed meals. Once I arrived there, I was like, oh man, I think I put too much hay in here. Where are we gonna put the feed? Yeah, but I made it work. We crammed it in, and I got all the feed that we needed for our chicken in a duck. And then sometime later, once we were all back home, my tractor girl Lacey got on the skid steer that we were able to borrow. Thankfully, it was because I thought we were going to have to carry this goat feeder by hand. But she, being as good as she is on the skid steer, lifted up the goat feeder and just moved it on over to the goat's area. She even unloaded it right over the fence so we didn't even have to move the fence really. 
But once we got it in, we did have to move it just a little bit by hand to move it under the shelter. And immediately after we moved it into the shelter, the goats were climbing on it and doing all the things that goats do when they like to climb. So I got right back to work, ripping up two by fours to make rails on our goat feeder so our goats wouldn't be able to climb in as easy as they were just doing. And then I installed all the rails. And the goats were really curious as I was doing this, thinking that they were gonna try to even eat some of the screws. But they didn't. Hey Josiah, doesn't this look like a big giant baby grill? Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure does. And then next, Josiah helped me out once again as we used the lawn tractor to transport the hay bales that we got from Barrier Mills into the goat feed.
Woo! Goat feeder Mach 1 is done for now. We'll see what type of changes and progressions I may want to make later because just like with anything, chicken tractors, chick shawls, all type of various things out here on the homestead. Somebody thinks that's funny. <laughs> we just had to wait and see what type of changes we're going to make. And uh, I think one change that I want to make right now is uh, Libby can fit in there. She's a smaller goat, so I want to make sure that the goat's not able to, to get in there and maybe get stuck in there. So uh, we'll have to look at that here. But uh, make sure you guys stay tuned and uh, see how this ends up working for me and uh, what type of changes I may want to make to it in the future. And speaking of that, if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, please do. And uh, click the bell, that notification bell. You sign up for that, it lets you be notified each time I release a new video. Well, that's it for now. I'm ready to move on to some other things around the homestead. Yeah, we're going to let them enjoy this hay goat feeder for now. See you next time.